similar to a buildup like force rep negative. So he'll do this to without failure. Then I'm gonna pull off the quarters. And then he's gonna do five very slow controlled reps with just the four plates on each side. He'll just work. Let's head. Ready? Come on. Let's go.
weird that they feel like that heavy. Um, I guess it's just how the weight is distributed. They're but, kind of um, the weights. No, they definitely are really heavy. It could also be a combo of we just did that plate ex uh, plate loaded exercise before and plug. pretty intense. <laughs> but you know, I'm interested to see things like this because next week if we do this again. And if we do come to this gym and use these weights, I want to make this the starting exercise and compare then pretty much what he's able to do on his top sets if we make this the starting exercise because that's kind of what I was telling him before. Like I'm an advocate of, you know, you don't want to pre-exhaust your chest too, too much doing, say something like a, a, a fly. You want to save that for your compound movements right? like these. But um, one thing he is pretty good at, um, that's different than most bodybuilders, is one, his muscle endurance is extremely good compared to any other like super heavyweight. He, he's usually not huffing and puffing, like I'm more out of breath than he is. And his muscle, um, like his muscle endurance, and he's usually pretty good at sustaining strength um, throughout the workout, but there's different levels to it, so, you know, We'll, we'll document that closely and see from training with him how that differentiates if we put the order of the exercises a little bit differently. I barely got 10 with those. Let's, let's be smart right, Let's right. get good reps. Right. <laughs> let's be... Right. <laughs> Well, like it'll be, something, it'll be something similar to it, oh. where you'll do one set where pretty much you'll do like 10 reps, put it down, you'll rest 15 seconds. It's, it's, it's not rest pause time, what you're doing. similar to that, but yeah, you'll do it, but you'll do it in a, instead of seven times, you do it five times. Shorts falling down. 
Quay's getting small, bitch. <laughs> He's a few inches shorter than me. <laughs> huh? No, it's usually the other way around. Come on!
sets are 10 or 12. Mm -hmm. He's racking it, resting about 25 seconds, and then going again. And FST7 is doing it seven times. He's gonna do it about five at most six, but on the last one, we're gonna do a drop set and pull off a plate, and he's gonna go neutral. All right, ready, go again. Drop. This will be his last one here. We'll do this 10 reps after 25 seconds rest, and then I'm gonna pull a plate off, and then he's gonna go neutral, neutral grip, if he can get that for 12 at the end. One, get ahead. up, come on, last time through. Come on, Nick. Let's go, 10 reps, 10 reps, one. Come on, two, three, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, eight, nine, last one. Level up. 
between like 10 and 12. Yeah. And you're tripping, huh? Huh? You're tripping. Oh, yeah. And he's doing it in his garage, too. I, I keep like the RPM, whatever, like an 85 to a 90 at all times. I don't, sometimes higher. Yeah. Okay. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, that's 13, come on. 
Left it. One more. Fifteen. Fifteen. Up. Come on. Come on. Come on. Squeeze. 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 Good. Yeah. Woo. I put it here, man. So the negative. It makes it hard as shit. That was good, though. Yeah. Where's Paul? He's training later at 3.30. With Adam. Adam? Distribution and these little pearls is really good. Yeah, they are. They're, they're heavier. I like these for pearls. Wait, I don't like those powerhouse. Oh, because it's because they grip are weird. I like thinner grips. I'll show you the grip a little better. Get one? Don't know what this is about. I don't know, I don't know why they twist it. Like, well, this wasn't here, I mean. Pass It heavier. That's you want to keep constant tension on it. Yeah. Well, the next day I'll be able to get them better now that I know. Push hard. <laughs> filming? I'm filming. Yes, sir. All right, so I really didn't do an intro. Um, okay. I kind of, we just got into it. Yeah, we just got into it. My, my weight boy. <laughs> no, but uh, so now we'll do an outro. But yeah, today we did, uh, this is Dom's first day here um, in Tampa. He'll be here for a while. 
How long, how long are you staying? Like, so I'm gonna stay for like eight days, leave for three, and then I'm gonna be back for like a while. Okay. Most of the prep. So yeah, he'll be here for eight days. <laughs> Take a little trip back home, then he's coming back for a long time. Um, but today we did uh, chest and biceps. Um, he, I, I ran it tech, tech, for the most part. Um, he would just push me through it, um, put his input in for certain things, and we just went at it. I pretty much um, wanted to see what you were doing the last few weeks. Yeah, but we just, it's pretty much, you know, I the way, because I'm used to training with Kamal, obviously, so the way we basically train is we stay in like the 10 to 15 rep range and work up that in that way to about a failure set. So like, for example, tech deck, you know, we did, I did sets of 15 pretty much until I did 15 of failure and either move on or just repeat that again and go on to the next exercise. It's very high reps, high volume, Heavy weight though, just a failure. And I think with him being here now, he sees like that I'm growing into the show more at this point, training that particular style now versus doing more of the lower volume that I was used to. Um, so I think this is a good change for me. Um, so it was good. Um, I told him I wanted him to like run the workout and just pretend like I wasn't here to see kind of what they had been doing. Um, and it's good, like I said, now that I'll be able to get some more workouts in with him just to kind of gauge his performance in the gym. But like I said, he is different than, like everyone's body's different. He's a lot different than your average open bodybuilder. As far as his muscle endurance, even the first day I trained with him, um, he goes at a very high pace. A lot of times like I'll tell guys, take longer rest periods, especially on those top sets so that you could let your ATP build back up to really maximize that last working set. Um, he's able to sustain that a lot better than the average person. I think a lot of contributing factors, if you watch the way he does cardio, he doesn't go on there and just turtle walk at a steady pace. Like He's moving, um, you know, his heart rate's up um, and it leads to better training. That's what we try to preach, like why cardio is important in the off season. It will benefit you during your training. So it'll be good, like I said, to kind of get an idea and monitor kind of his training throughout out the, throughout the process. But um, he's growing into the show, which is pretty like shocking. Um, he lost like a, a almost a four to a five fold on his back bench in a matter of a month, and his weight like barely moved. So you know that's an ideal situation to be in. So everything's good and now. It's just a matter of executing every day. 14 weeks out today, actually from Olympia. It's Friday. This will be posted what Monday? Monday. Monday, so you all will see this on Monday. So today is 14 weeks out. But Monday you'll see it. <laughs> but yeah, so at this point, you know, it's just we're all locked in, it's tunnel vision, no games to play. Uh, we both know that this is probably the most competitive Mr. Olympia that will be from years, years. Um, there's, as far as I'm concerned, what, 25, 30 guys at this point? All, everyone is in it at this point. Literally almost everyone that you could think of. So we know we have to bring something very special um, this year. Um, and that's what we plan to do. We know, we, we see the pictures. We, we know what Rambi's looking like. We know what everyone's looking like. And for me, that adds motivation. Um, I know everyone's working hard. So that just mo encourages and motivates me to work even harder. So I'm definitely excited for this Olympia. I know what I have to do. And that's bring my best and win. And that's that's the, that's what we're gonna do.